friends and family, welcome back. All Glory Farms, if you're new here, welcome. Everybody's hungry. Hi, Faith. Hi, Faith, are you hungry? Look at Mike, belly up to the bar, buddy. All right, let's get the donkeys. Come on, Frank. Come on. What? Go to your room. I got your stuff. Come on. <laughs> uh. yeah. Well, hello. Good morning. <gasps> Hi, Zeke. Hi, handsome boy. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ed. How you doing, bud? How you doing? Well, hello, yeah. Eskimo. Watch out, guys. <laughs> Just a second. Let me get these guys done. Hey, hey Og, can you grab the gate? Uh, <laughs> hi. Get. Get Louise out of there and close her gate, please. <laughs> what? All right, guys. We gotta do this. Uh, Ready? <laughs> you guys, you don't have to follow me. Here, there we go. <laughs> you gotta run and spread it really quick or else they're uh, gonna butt you, headbutt you or trip you. Oh! <laughs> Bunny, that was some acrobatics, girl. Hi, Eskimo. There's nothing in the, it's all gone. It's all gone, girl. Yeah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Oh, you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> All right. Well, hi, Thelma. Hi, Thelma. Hi, sweet girl. You're so sweet. Oh, yeah. All right. She's out. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Go ahead and give them their food. What? Well, go get you some, girlfriend. You think there's something in there? Yeah? Augie, my trusty sidekick. Oh, hey, good morning. Feeding time. Everybody's uh, getting their breakfast. Pigs already ate, or are eating. They are going to be getting a trough soon, we hope. Anyway, so thought we'd do a quick update this morning. There's a lot of moving and shaking going on. A lot of things happening pretty quickly. Uh, one thing, uh, the, the appraisal was ordered on Monday and it was completed on Wednesday. We're just waiting for the report. There is a chance that we're going to close super fast. So buckle up because things are about to get really quick uh there's a lot of updates here so i'm going to try to go through them one by one before i forget or double talk all of that kind of great stuff uh let's see two days ago we had some contractors come in to give us some bids on finishing work because of our old contractor uh i want to show you something first hold on just a second Okay, so that was our amazing neighbor uh, mowing our coop, mowing our uh, pass or our arena and our backyard. Uh, like we do have some amazing neighbors, we really do, and that was so sweet of him. He didn't have to do it. Um, he's trying to help us out, and we just we appreciate it. They, we're gonna miss we're gonna miss our neighbors. Um, yeah, I'm in the coop for a reason. I came to watch the girls. So we have Pigeon and Goldie. Goodness sakes, girlfriend. I thought that they were going broody. No, they're hiding out in the coop because our drakes are taking a liking to them. 
uh, and drakes will kill your hens if they try to mate with them. So the four drakes are getting a new home. Uh, they're going to Taylor's farm, and she's going to make like a little bachelor pad for the, the boys. But uh, we got to do something because they're going after, they, they're they taking a liking. They're not really going after, but they're taking a liking to our two smallest hens. So we're just going to nip that in the bud. What is up with you girls? You weren't doing this right before I hit record. Hi, Larry. Leisure suit, Larry. Put the pants on him. Jump up here. Come on. Come on. Oh, it was gone. Anyway, so back to the updates. Uh, the contractor. So um, we had a, a neighbor that was getting some work done. She's got a contractor that she really likes. So we asked him. I think. Oh, no. Laura's coming up. Hi, Laura. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Laura. I just can't wear shirts with buttons with her because she likes to pick them off or try to. Anyway, so contractor. Uh, we had asked, to, asked the contractor to come and give us a quote on the finishing work that we were left with. And you know, a lot of you have heard us talk to talk about this in the past. Uh, we really had a contractor do us very dirty. Uh, never completed a single room in our whole home remodel. Uh, we spent a lot of money, and some of the work that he did is uh, was subpar. Well, most of the work he did was subpar. Some things he did really, really great. But most things he did really, really bad. And it was an expensive remodel. Very expensive. Matter of fact, we'll never recoup all of the money that we spent. So, that's where we're at. And he's not the only contractor that did us dirty. Let's just, let's just move. He's not the only contractor that did us dirty either uh, in this home. So, yeah. Uh, we were... Looking for a quote, knowing that we'd probably have to get more than one quote for more than one contractor. And then basically the way we were looking at it is pick the one that would do the least amount of harm. I mean, seriously, that's what that's what we were looking at. And so, nesting box that we still got to paint. So, uh, yeah, they came in and let us know that the beam work that we paid a lot of money to have done was done wrong. I kind of suspected because the crack that was there when we bought it that our appraiser missed and our home inspector missed, it was the same one and it was back. So yeah, that was, that was fun to find out, but it's, it's amazing how God works in your life. Uh, that really threw me for a loop and and andy too uh all of that betrayal and anger and frustration came rushing back up to the surface and you know we had realized that this house reminds us of that betrayal of the robbery of the lying of the <laughs> deceit that you know more than one person put us through and you know, the new house, we were just thinking, okay, it's it's more property. We can have more livestock. I, I, I truly believe now that this move is more than that. So anyway, of course, we called the real estate agent and said, all right, how do we handle this? Because we are not like they wanted to, they were, the contractor and Andy were talking about putting a post in. And if you do that to that open kitchen it's just gonna look off and in order to do that you'd have to cut a hole in the flooring so that the post sat on the cement that's all new flooring throughout the entire house and not inexpensive flooring so called the realtor and you know of course we're gonna disclose it but how do we handle it we talked about that a little bit and then you know we slept on it yesterday I called the 
contractor and said, listen, I need you to do me a favor. Give me a quote on all of the finishing work and then a separate quote on fixing the beam and then another quote on putting in the post. What we're going to do is we're going to disclose it in the listing and give the next owner the option. Let them make the call because this is what they're going to live with. I don't want to make that decision for somebody else. So that's what we're going to do. And he said, okay, I can do that. By the way, is it possible for us to stop by and talk to you and your husband? We, we have something we want to discuss with you um, after work. And I was like, sure. Yeah, we're here. And so they did. Standing outside the run now. <laughs> so they did. And here we're thinking that, you know, maybe they've got a friend that wants to buy the house and, or, you know, we weren't really sure. So we're kind of battle planning and everything else. And they come over and we really like this couple. They're really nice. Uh, she likes chickens too. They have chickens. Like we have a lot in common. Oh, I'm watching two of my roosters kind of. Hmm. All right. Sorry. Uh, we weren't sure. Like we were prepared for something else and we were going through scenarios and how we could, you know, you know, help somebody out if they needed it. And, you know, they came in and we were all kind of talking and he says to us that, you know, his family is military and, you know, they've, they feel really bad what has been done to our family and that they wanted to help make it right. And they were going to donate their time. That floored Andy and I. We're not used to people doing. We're used to doing. And don't get me wrong, we have a lot of people in our lives. Uh, you know, when I battled cancer, I had some people that really did some amazing stuff for me and my kids. You know, we've had people do nice things. We've got friends here that uh, they've... <laughs> Our favorite chairs in the house are from our friends. Like, we, we, we still get shocked, though. And we're extremely honored and just absolutely blessed. It takes some of this, the worry and stress that we had off, which we could breathe a little bit. And that was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. There's, there's so much, you know, it's like, there's so many changes that are about to happen really fast. Talk, you saw the video that I put out of these. Anybody that knows us really know, really well knows this is what we use to move. We have had most of these for over 10 years. They have moved us a lot. They were all put away. Now they're out, ready to be dusted and utilized. Uh, I'm trying to think of like other stuff. There was something else I was going to update. We talked about possibly closing early, our awesome neighbors, our awesome new contractors, and, and just the blessing that we were given. Uh, the Drakes. Oh, yeah. So we also had something else unexpected happen. <sighs> we might be getting more livestock that will work perfectly at the new farm. Now, I'm not going to say too much because it's not a done deal yet. We're still just in talks. But if that happens, you guys will be the second to know because it'll be us being the first. But <laughs> um, that's super exciting and a blessing because we know it's just like with our Cooney Coonies and Taylor's Farm. We know how she raises her animals and we know the care and philosophy that she has so we enjoy buying her livestock and this other situation is the same we really and first we we support them as small farmers but we also know that what we would be getting from them is quality so that's a possibility that we're looking forward to um yeah there's a lot of moving and shaking going on and we're just beginning. Uh, we should find out hopefully today if we've got a potential closing date. 
this move isn't just about expanding our farm. This move is also about some healing that needed to happen that we didn't realize needed to happen. It's about being blessed abundantly. Like we keep, every time we turn around, we keep getting blessed and we're just so grateful for that. And then we have you guys, you guys, we get private messages and you know, we really appreciate you looking forward to our videos, encouraging us. And it, I, we're just, it makes me happy that you guys enjoy our videos. I mean, I know that the grandkids do, they love seeing the videos, but it's, it's great to get that encouragement and that support. Um, we don't, like I said in the last video, we're not clickbaity. We don't want to draw you in to watch a really long video just to let you down. And the other thing that we don't do is say, oh, click like and subscribe. Like, I know a lot of people are about the algorithm and they're about their subscribers and we're just not. And I, I'm not throwing shade on anybody. That's, I don't have a problem with people that that's what their goal is because there's a lot of people that make money off of their YouTube channels. We're just, we're too small. We're not, that's not our goal. Like we just enjoy sharing our journey with whoever wants to keep up with us. And I think it's amazing. And you guys give us a little bit of pep in our step and you bless us with your support. So thank you. In short, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I think for now, that's about all we've got. Uh, we're going to be, like I said, doing more videos and trying to make sure we keep you guys in the loop so you know everything that's going on so make sure you've uh you check back often um i'll also throw it out on the facebook the facebook i sound like an old person i mean i kind of look like an old person but <laughs> i'll make sure i throw it out on facebook and TikTok. this kid <laughs> aj how you doing <laughs> all of this has just been so exciting for him anyway thank you so much for tuning in again uh god bless you all all glory to god for everything that's just been coming down the pike we really appreciate it even even the bumpy stuff like we learn and it's amazing so yeah here we go it's it's just beginning we got a lot going on we'll see you soon god bless you